We are just hours away from the biggest game of the year, and we want to make sure you have the biggest party of the year. Of course, we're talking mixing up some drinks today, and whether you're cheering for the Chiefs or the 49ers, you're going to win your guests over with these cocktails we're going to be making. I'm joined by Chef Case DeGario, our mixologist, who has two game day drinks for us. So we have one for the Chiefs, one for the 49ers. Which should we start making first? First of all, let me ask you, uh, are, who are you, who are you going for? You're going to put me on the spot like this? I am. I have to do it. You know what? I can tell by the way that you're dressed in green that you really don't have a team in this fight. <laughs> exactly right. Okay. So I think I'm going to go for the 49ers just because we have a former Razorback on the team. But I know a lot of people here, what including does that yourself. Oh, you mean a, a, a formal 49er, a Razorback on the 49ers Exactly team. right. I got you. I'm a Chiefs fan. You're a Chiefs guy. It's been 50 years. Um, so... I think we're going to do it today. We're going to do it. It's going to happen. You know what? It's the morning of the big game. Why not have a drink? Why not have a drink ready to go? Two drinks. Maybe you're drinking one with us right now, but we're going to teach you how to make some other ones for maybe later on in the day. We're going to get these going at the game today. When it's kickoff, you need to be like at least two or three of these in, okay? <laughs> so, that way so you don't care who wins at the end, That's right. right. That's all that matters. <laughs> so we have two things that we're doing. One is a, a classic San Francisco cocktail. Okay. It's actually, there are two that come from San Francisco. One is slow gin base, but this one is vodka. Base. We're using Rock Town vodka right out of uh, Little Rock. And we're making two drinks here. So I about, love it. We're living yeah, local too. We have to. Uh, a little creme de banana, and that's going to sound a little funky, but that's just to give it a little sweetness. Now, if someone isn't a huge banana fan, does that make the drink a no-go for them? No. Here's the thing. You can. You don't have to. You add Grand Meunier or add some sort of an orange okay. liqueur. We're adding some orange juice to this. Yum. Um, this one is already speaking my language, I'm all things I like you. so far. Now, the recipe that I actually submitted, you can serve it over, uh, over ice, but we're actually going to do this in either a, a, a coupe glass today or you can do it in a martini glass. We're Why also not have it a little fancier too, rather than girls. just out of the can? You know, most of the girls that I know are bigger fans of these teams than the dudes, so why, why wouldn't you? <laughs> I love it. And, and you can see that recipe right there on your that's screen, right. everyone. This is a hibiscus rose, uh, so this is just kind can of I what I've added. Before we... You know what you can do? Take a little bit of it like this. Just and there's it. no alcohol in this, just, right? No, just put it like a little bit right behind your... Isn't that great? And what does this do? Uh, nothing. Okay. So <laughs> just makes that's me just sticky. a little bit of flavor. It just makes you <laughs> kind of sticky. That makes me tasty. So all we're going to do is just shake that up. Give it a good shake. Ooh. Mm. Take it out. Now this is where, you know, you can either leave the eyes so you don't have to, but we're going to leave Ooh, it right in there. Ooh, that looks good. So it has this really beautiful sort of almost purple color. Yeah. So what I'm going to have you do while I, we switch is we're going to garnish it obviously with a little orange, okay. but also some pomegranate seeds, so just a couple on top, okay. and these hydrated basil seeds. How much seeds. of the seeds? Oh, like a spoonful All right, of let's each. switch. Woo. Okay. All right. So while you're doing that, the next one is actually a michelada, which is a classic Mexican beer cocktail. And all, all we're really doing is using, of which, course. Which, those are my favorite, by the way, so I'm super pumped we're making this. Oh, my God, they're so good. Talk about cologne. I use it as cologne. <laughs> so this is Apparently actually. Apparently, I use hibiscus. To keep this within the Kansas City vein, World, you know, world famous Boulevard beer makes this really great unfiltered wheat, so we're going to use that as our base. So all this is is a couple shakes, and we're not even going to shake this up, obviously, because it's beer. A couple dashes of Worcestershire, uh, your favorite hot sauce, some soy sauce. Um, and you really have to have all of those ingredients because yeah. even if you missed one, I swear you can taste the difference. Something's different, you know. And you, some people add tomato to this or clamato. You yep. don't really have to. I'm a big clamato fan. Yeah. Little pepper. And then, of course, just a little bit of lime Yum. in each one. Lime is important. That's lime. one of my favorite parts of those drinks. You know what I, I love most about today is that you just said important. Say it again. Important. <laughs> what is I, that? I always get yelled are you at from, from where my, are you from? I'm from New York. I That's my tell. northeasterner in me. Important. Look at Case over here calling me out for this. Important. <laughs> So all well, you're going to do is take that, pour that over ice, and then okay. you're going to take the beer, and that's it. And there you go. The yeah. Chiefs oh, Michelada. See, so you got it. And then the San Francisco cocktail. All right. So I'm not allowed to try these on there, so I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to tell I? you guys where. Go ahead. Take a drink of it and tell me. Oh. All right. And I garnish I'm these. I'm so happy. Oh, that here. looks great. Do I feed you? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Which is your favorite of the two? My favorite team is the Chiefs. My favorite cocktail is the San Francisco. Well, there you go. Okay, it it smells go. delicious. Mm. Mm. I'm definitely going to give this a shot in just a minute. But I do want to let all of you know at home that you can find these recipes right now on our website. That is fox24news.tv. A big thank you to Case for coming in today. We also are going to tell you what my favorite drink is. All you have to do is head over to our Instagram page where you can find all of that.